Oh, I'm a little tipsy. That makes me emotional. <laughs> oh yeah, she picked me up in an ambulance. She <laughs> yeah, she was like, she like renovated an ambulance and picked me up, and I was like, this could easily be the end of my life. Like this lady who loves my music is about to pick me up in a fucking ambulance. I could get kidnapped, but like we just went to Benihana's. <laughs> it was great. All right, so this is my Q&A. I'm gonna pick about 12 questions and then I'm gonna talk to you guys about some precautionary shit before the show, because it's fucking hot out here. Yes! We're definitely officially in the South, because yeah. there's a drastic difference between how it feels the fuck outside right now and the past Not couple different. days. Woo, 180. I love Atlanta, first of all. I'm so sad. Yeah. Oh, we so love you too. I'm only here for one day. Because typically I would have a party, I'd be at the strip club, it'd be some more shit. But I got a show. I got a show tomorrow. I got a show, you guys. Guess what? <laughs> we can't do New Orleans like that. I love them too. Yeah, sure. I love them. <laughs> okay, this says, where do you see yourself and your music in the next 10 years? Um, God willing, I'm still making music and I'm still touring. That's kind of all that matters to me. I don't really have any of those, like, I want to be at this award show or win this or have this X amount of numbers. I just want to still be on tour and still making projects and still connecting with people the way I am now in this kind of like straight artist to fan kind of way. I don't like the whole like, it feels like, what is the word? Like industry or like superstar-ish. I really like the way my shit goes and it, I get to feel really excited and proud because everyone's excited and proud because it feels like we all grew up together and are rooting for this progress the exact same way. So. What's one thing on your bucket list you still haven't done but you want to do? I want to skydive. Yeah! I'm scared shitless, but I want to do it. Yeah, I want to do it. This says, do you plan on doing any more acting? I love you in the L word. I fucking hate acting. Woo! <laughs> I fucking hate it. I'm awkward. I can't get myself into a character because I'm just like... I'm more like a behind the scenes person. The only reason I ended up on the L word is because I asked the director if I could shadow her so that I could like pick up some director points. And then five months later, she called me and was like, I actually wrote a role, so you know, if you wanna do that. And I couldn't be like an 80 year old gay bitch. And my, my grandkids are like, I discovered this ancient lesbian show. And I was like, yeah, they asked me to be on it once. And I said, no, like I had to say yes for the plot. Yeah. But I won't ever do that again. No shade to the L word, cause they were all super cool and I had a great time. It's just not my swag, you know? Um, will you create any visuals for while we wait to and will we get crash visuals? I have ideas for them. Yes! <laughs> um, you know, the, the music industry is really weird right now. I don't know if you guys are seeing all the like just changes that everyone's making and everything that's happening. Like, again, God willing, we get inspired on the road and we make some shit together. But for the most part, it just be me and Gabe having fun with it at this point. Everybody say, hey, Gabe. Hey, Gabe. Hey, Gabe. All these amazing videos and shit you guys see, that's all game. So, um, yeah, if we get inspired on the road and we want to make some shit, then, then cool. It's pretty natural like that. Other than that, like, record label.